Okay, so frig in. Uh, we're finally done frigging around. We said frig it. We got things that's going to rain big time here shortly. We really should be already gone, but Boogie had to go to the store and get a road drink for frig's sake. D didn't have time. He didn't have time. But anyways, friggin' we got her all cinched down. Got the winch, got two straps, got a chain and friggin' cigarettes and everything's awesome. Here. Friggin' we're going to head out here in a sec. What's going on up there but I hope they uh, don't mind me just friggin blaze blasting through their program for frig's sake with their flashing lights and their dicker dickering my program this sons of bitches well we just missed uh, bylaw Billy friggin just cocking over somebody's day friggin in Glencoe there you can watch it on Boogie's movie right buddy yep he got, movie. he got he got the, the footage he, he was recording at the time but uh, friggin uh, you smell that I do smell that it smells medicinal. It does smell medicinal. Holy shit. Look at the horde, boys. The friggin' horde. Oh shit, boys. Look at this guy. With his cantipiller. Yeah. He's got his cantipiller out, he does. Oh shit. Yeah, don't stretch where it says, well, I got the can. Oh shit. Yeah. Frig a sack, boys. Son of a bitch. Holy shit! What's his problem? No, it's upside cigarette. Checking for gas tank, maybe. Oh, fuck. Propane tanks and paint cans and shit we stuffed in there. Son of a bitch. Yeah. That's the one plug like .com sign out in the scrap yard. Friggin' rights it is. One plug like .com. Friggin' rights, boys. Friggin' rights. I think I'm gonna have to have a look at that one. That one looks like a good lawn chair project. There's a bunch of snowblowers over there. Probably stretch parts off and different things. Holy shit, we scored, boys. Okay, so we're done at the scrapyard. Earl frigged us over. Oh, check this out. Check this out. Well, my guy's got cam. Friggin' rights it is. Well, we're back. We're working on the chair. Look at this. What are you doing over here, Boogie? Wrecking your shit. What did, what did you do? Let me see. I Holy shit. Take doing a head swap. The, yeah, just doing a little head doing swap. A little head swap. No, no big deal. The, uh, Boogie does it all the time. Sparkulator. Yeah, the, spo the carbonator, sparkulator, everything's dick. Spark but uh, this is our haul from uh, from Zubik there. I got one of these last time, but then I got a new one today. So I got two Harley cigarette mufflers. I got two Harley cigarette. And then I got this one. I figure, you know, that one's pretty awesome for a chapter. Then I got a freaking son of a bitch for the old lady's van on account, so then I could tow shit with it, just tear the tranny right out of it. And then I got two sets of tires, the, the tires that I like for different types of racing apparatus, different things. And this gearbox is just a one to one uh, gearbox out of an old mower deck. But, uh, I've always had a fancy about making myself a steering box out of one of these for uh, for a tractor. That'd be fancy and uh, different things. So what else? Oh, I got some uh, some flat bar and some round rod, different things. Freaking right, I did. So and then I stopped by Princess Auto there. Freaking dirty old PA. I grabbed a little cog. I, f I think I'm gonna need a bigger one, but I thought I'd try that one because it was like three dollars cheaper than the next size bigger. And I got a couple one-inch uh, cigarettes, right? So uh, that that one's obviously going to be for the cog, but I got two more. And these are the uh, the spindle cigarettes off of the uh, the Arians original, right? So I, uh, this this end it had like a hollow tube type thing with the brass bushing. So I punched that out, cut it off, and that just fits right over this little threaded bit of that asshole right there, right? Something like I don't know if I can do it one-handed or not, but. Something like wit, and then uh, and then that won't go any further that way. So if I weld that on there like that, put a nut on there like that, this guy will have the keyway nut in a, in a pin, whatever it was it was a bling bling. So that'll be more awesome there. Oh, it's fine, buddy. Oh, buddy. Oh, no beer for Pug One. No. Oh, son of a bitch. That's that's awful kind of you, bud. But anyway, so uh, 
I got this this problem over here is because on account of the friggin' stupid son of a bitch here, I un unsigured it. See, this side was just solid shaft, and it's the same type of a deal. See, they just had that hot, hot. They just had that asshole, you know, push through, and then they welded it, eh? So for frig sack, so I gotta try to get that out as clean as possible without distorting the hole. So I'm just gonna try to grind that down. I'm gonna get out the big seven inch here and just friggin' grind away at that. Well, actually, I don't want to get into this surface too much, so I'll probably just use a four inch there, grind away that till it's smooth. And hopefully that center will just pop right out of there and I could do the same thing on the other side. It'll be more awesomer. Holy shit, bud. What did you just do? <laughs> I don't know, but the, these pieces are falling oh, out. Don't stuff. pull those out. Oh, you ruined it. Root, throw them in the garbage, bud. Wasted it. Oh, yep, throw them in the garbage. Really this good. engine here, that damn near brand new. Well, yeah. Got a brand new engine right there. Yep, brand new. So we gotta, we gotta get that one going. Gotta, gotta get that one going there. Had a little water in it looks like, just a little bit though. Not too bad, not too bad. Not too bad. But uh, maybe we'll have to do because the the, the, ther this, the thermostat side of this one. So we gotta, just, we gotta swap, we gotta swap the heads. <laughs> yeah, I gotta swap the heads because yeah, the thermostat. Yeah, so that one's got a high performance head on it too. I yeah, yeah, it is. The, uh, it's wore right in. It'll yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah, but uh, anyways, I forgot to tell you, I got some chain. I might have already told you that, but I got new chain. I got lots of chain, but it's all old, eh? And, Short little pieces cobbled together and stuff. But. So anyway, all that horse shit's on account of so I can just bolt these friggin' rims right onto there and these are be my Ossiner's frig friggin' race tires. They will. Well, that's Ossiner. I friggin' popped her out lickety cigarette, except for this thing's just beet red and the little other beet red piece that popped out went into my little box of plastic tools over there, so that's awesome. I'll have a melted piece of metal inside one of my tools, but when uh, I'm going to have a jasmine here in a minute, and then uh, when that cools down, I'm going to stab that on the end there. Then I'm going to have to try to find uh, nuts, nuts to uh, cigarette on there, and uh, you know, and then put the cigarettes on, and the what's it's on, and this and that, and then the axe is pretty much built, but uh, I'm going uh, to have a fuck with time getting this here uh, throttle and, and brake uh, pedals apart here. I don't know how those go together. We pulled pins out and this and that. And the, it, I don't know, man. So, yeah, that's... that's that's the problem we're running into now, freak sack. Well, there's the axle. That's that's what we're after there. We've got the cog and the brake and the bearings and the cigarettes and friggin' right. Just got to weld her up and this and that and make sure everything's in position. But I got to get the get the friggin' engine on there. You know, figure out what's going to happen. I'll probably have to cut a slot and weld a hole and bend some tabs and was was a bling bling. Give her a spin. Let's see the valves. Let's see the valves there. Look at that. Uh, you got the you got the the old head on the new engine. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And uh, you're gonna put the, the crankcase and valve and the thermostat muffler grease bearing on there and fire up the big race, everybody. Right, yeah, there's a bunch of good parts here and bad ones and not yeah, necessary it's ones. All so. all just in disarray. We gotta unhook this. Qu thing. Quite quite a bit of disarray. So I cut a couple little pieces of angle there. I got a marked quit and what so I'm gonna lop it off right there and then I'm gonna angle iron it holes for the friggin what's it's and then uh, you know figure out where the axle and everything's gonna go and all the was it was a bling blings and whatnot and we'll find out where the engines gonna sit and everything else and uh, different things and that'll be awesome there but uh, how's it going there buddy how's it going are you almost back together eh? almost oh, I'm leaking petrols oh don't leak petrols Stab, stab around the carbon. Stay for the track, but I can't. She's. I need that piece Lee had that one time. No. I do. No. Or I gotta just trim it a little bit. Maybe that. Maybe trim it a bit. So, anyways, you can look forward to some friggin' running dirty, friggin' boogie rebuilt, friggin' Honda clones, and probably at least a friggin' dirty axle stuck into the friggin' race mower we're building. But, uh, anyways, friggin', don't forget to friggin' uh, check out all the links in the prescription and whatnot, and friggin' uh, Carponics, Carponics.com, Carponics on Facebook, Carponics on YouTube. Give her a like, give her a subscribe, smoke some cigarettes, you know, whatever. But, uh, I must have told you 7,526 times, but, uh, somebody probably didn't hear me. But if you make yourself a Dickle Deco deal movie, you could uh, enter to win the Dickle Deco deal. And same with the Carponics Facebook page. Once you reach a thousand dicks, there's a Dickle Deco deal for that one too and whatnot. Anyways, boys, look at my friggin' appliance. I'm friggin' dicked and clearly need a dab. So there you go, another Dicker Pug One production. So until tomorrow. Come on, the walkers get you.